Anyways, uh, Joe! Editing. <laughs> Alright, let's confess a little something. Damon and Joe are guilty of not answering your questions. I feel like we never answer so questions. So, shame ever. on us, and we're gonna get those answers to you in this video. In all caps, very abrasive, we asked you, what are your travel related questions? Well, and that's how people comment on our channel. They're I like, know. Oh, how do I don't know. How do you travel cheaply? We're gonna answer that. Ain't got time for no blabber blabbing. Let's take a look at the phones. All right. <clears throat> what are the sacrifices you have to make if you want to travel? Ooh, a lot of things. That's a great question. You don't see your family that much. You start realizing that all of your best friends are abroad, so yeah, you don't see them as much. Like, if you get an apartment, you're not going to be there half the time, so you feel guilty because you're paying so much in rent for not being there. Pets, you can't have pets because you, you no one's here to take care of it. And the last point that a lot of people probably can't deal with is you sacrifice a lot of stability. You probably won't have a 9 to 5 job. You'll be juggling to pay your rent. That's a sacrifice. Next question, how do you get rid of anxiety on a plane? I don't ever have Can anxiety. Can I answer that question please? Cause here I am, sweaty qualms on the wall. I either need to have a little sweat towel, I need to talk a lot to a stranger, or most recently I got a coloring book and that works really well. <laughs> Bones. How do you make friends at hostels? Take your laptop somewhere, anywhere. They're gonna see you have an adapter. Hopefully, if they're friendly people, which sometimes they are, they're gonna ask you, Where are you from? If you see somebody with an adapter, you, you ask them, Where, where are, are you from? from? Okay. I keep missing my phone's cue. <laughs> so, is it okay to bring food inside of an airplane or an airport? This is such a good question because I didn't know about this until like the third year of me taking airplanes. <laughs> Which, if you do the math, that's like a lot of money that I spent on dumb airport food. You don't have to. You can bring food on planes and in airports. They will not make you throw it out in security. Here's the thing that you can't bring any kind of liquid. It's like, it's like do we know the answers to these questions? We're like skipping all of them because we don't know that. <laughs> Gotta love Damon and Doe. Phones. The number one question we always get asked in comments and tweets and Hold Instagram. Hold up, let me guess. Is it, how do you find the cheapest flight? Yes, like, it is. I think that's the number one thing that people want to ask. It's not like, hey Joe, how are you? It's like, hey Joe, how do you find the cheapest flight? Totally. Before we let you in on this little secret, we need to ask you. Do you remember this video? Or that one? And this one? What about that one? What about this one though? That one as well. We have booked all of those. The number one company that we can sold, the number one app we can sold, the number one website we can sold, and this, this is, is like, not a lie. They have been holding us down. What's it called? Sky, Sky Scanner. Scanner. We're just gonna show you guys how we book our trips. Let's get it moving. You guys, Joanna's still wiping off sweat from that scene we just shot. Can I sweat a little more, please? <laughs> All right, so enough jibber jabber. We're gonna tell you how we, Damon and Joe, book the. Are you stressed? You're like breathing heavily. No, I'm just so excited like, <laughs> to finally, finally give them the tip. Is. We're gonna show you how we book our cheapest flights using Skyscanner. So you're gonna go to skyscanner.com. Super simple. If you don't know where you're going, you're gonna type in your home airport in the from box, and in the to box, you're gonna see it says enter a country, city, or airport. Guess what? You don't actually have to do that. What you need to just say is everywhere. Now the dates are the most important part when booking your cheapest flight, but for us, if you're pretty flexible, instead of typing in a specific date into the arrival and departure box, you're gonna type in cheapest month, baby, and Skyscanner will actually tell you the cheapest month to fly. That's like revolutionary. For budget travelers. Like, hello? Now comes the fun part, because you're gonna see on the next page, it's gonna pull up the cheapest countries to fly to. They put the cheapest on the top and the most expensive on the bottom, so you better believe that we do not scroll more than halfway down that page. I mean, even the cheapest flight. We can go to Eugene for $112. We can go to Atlanta for $147. You might not even know that Palm Springs is a possibility for you. You don't need to exactly pick a location. You should just go wander. That's what we do. Exactly. Let's see where we can go. Why don't we click mm, even like Houston. We have some friends in Houston. Let's go to Houston. Do we, do we have friends in Houston? We got friends. We can make friends. <laughs> Okay, so what happens? It pulls up the calendar. Remember, we chose the cheapest month. So, the cheapest month for us here is September, which is crazy because that's next month. That's next month. It tells us on the calendar the cheapest dates to depart and the cheapest dates to arrive. I'm about to book that. I, I actually might book that. <laughs> 
I honestly will. <laughs> you guys, that's why we haven't filmed this video because we knew this would happen on camera. Joe's gonna probably book this flight. Like, goodbye, California. But whoa, 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 maybe you're not as flexible as Damon and Joe are. Maybe you wanna go to Miami for spring break next year. You can do that too. You would just do the same exact thing except for instead of everywhere you type in Miami Palm Springs and then you can click cheapest month or the month of October if that's the time that you need to take your vacation. Look, even on the home page on the right hand side it says cheap flights from Los Angeles. The cheapest one is $68. It's like I'm trying to figure out where that's to and I'm a go. Uh, Norway. Joe, we can go to Norway for 300 Can you click Norway real quick? Why is that always the case? I feel it's like always Norway. Is Norway. Always so cheap. Because Norwegian Air is like off fleek. 345 Is that Oslo. round trip? If that's round trip. Booking it. See, every time we do Skyscanner, we're like, I'm booking it's it, you guys. I'm, bo I'm booking bank it. That's, well, no, it's not because $390, that's not anything. No, not $399. $390 for a non stop round trip flight from LAX to Norway. That's why you see us all over the world because you can it's actually a great afford resource. it. No, honestly. And so when you would click the select, it would take you to Norwegian Airlines. This is a legitimate airline. No, but even if it were like the super low budget airlines, you I would take it. Do it. We have traveled around the world using this. This is not a joke. This isn't a gimmick. This ain't even a fake movie. This is real. This is how fake we do movie. it. movie. You know? Whether you need to travel to a specific destination at a specific time, or whether you're free, use it. Because you'll save money and you'll get to go see what you want. What's the best is that we've actually filmed videos about blogs that Skyscanners were in and you need to click on the description below because there's a landing page on Skyscanners website all about these two crazy kids, Dangla and Joe. We're on, we're on there. <laughs> so you can get some bonus content. We're talking like get that exclusive. All right, so you asked the question, Damon and Joe, how do you find the cheapest flight? I think that's the number one thing that people want to ask. It's not like, hey, Joe, how are you? It's like, hey, Joe, how do you find the cheapest flight? Totally. Literally, that's how you do it. I mean, that's our secret. Go see what the cheapest flight you can find on Skyscanner is from your home airport and comment below. Kind of go book my flight to Oslo. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.